is. Oh, yes, I saw that you were sitting next to her. Well, we could swap. You could sit next to my mom. I thought you liked your mom. Yeah, I do like my mom, but she won't stop bringing up Louise. And if I wake up every morning thinking about the worst thing that's ever happened to me, I'll never get out of bed. I know. Brando and Gladys keep pushing me to talk about my feelings, but talking about Liam isn't going to make things better right now. Right, you're going to be mourning Liam for the rest of your life. You just need to focus on putting one foot in front of the other. Or I won't be able to survive. And Liam might be forgotten. You are laser focused on Sasha's grief, and that's okay. But I think it helps distract you from your own pain and loss. Well, maybe if, if Sasha would open up about her feelings, I can open up to her. Well, she's the only other person that knows exactly what she went through and what you're going through. You know, if you ever become a psychiatrist, I'm your first patient. Well, in the meantime, Dr. Collins, he's no slouch. Give him a call if you want, even without Sasha. And if you still need to do some talking, I can have someone take over my shift. <laughs> no, no need, man. Thank you. I, I appreciate you taking the time with me. It's my pleasure. Truly. Amen. All right, bro. Unsolicited advice, don't push Brando away. Or even Gladys. They really care about you, Sasha. And one day you're gonna need them. Breathe in. 